Dink, 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 dink. Welcome back, everyone, to the Jen and Julian podcast. Yeah, this let's week, high five over the guests. <laughs> with my younger brother, Marlon. Uh, he is our guest this week on the podcast, peeps. Uh, <clears throat> last week, we asked you if you cared to see uh, Channing Ginger on the podcast, and you said you wanted him, so we wanted to do that for you. Yay. So here he is. Welcome, welcome, welcome Marlin, to the podcast. Soul Thank you. Here he is. <laughs> uh, so I don't, I don't know why we're almost a hundred episodes deep and you haven't been on here, but you're on now. I guess that's all that matters, right? Mm-hmm. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> we asked him. We were like, "Hey, Marlon, do you want to be on the podcast?" And he was like, "Yeah, but can I ask you questions?" <laughs> Uh, okay, cool, dude. Sounds good. Uh, so this is also our first green screen guest. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. And Marlon's going to choose the background. So whatever it is, it's his fault. You're welcome. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Me Undies. Guys, get the most comfortable underwear out there made of micromodal fabric, twice as soft as cotton, and with the dopest designs like this. Uh, get it on your butt. Go to MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian. Get 20% off your first purchase. Also brought to you by a new sponsor this week, BPI Sports. Guys, this is a sports supplement company. Uh, for those of you who get your fitness on, which I know a lot of you do, they have some amazing products, a whole line of stuff. Right here, we have just a couple. I'll talk about them later. They have branch chains, amino acids, pre-workout, amazing whey protein. Uh, go to bpisports.com to check out their selection. And uh, I'm going to talk about this stuff later, so you will hear more about that. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. I've actually tried that stuff. It's good, right? Yeah, yeah dude, it's lit. I've been stealing my roommates. <laughs> wow, that's a good roommate. Yeah. So college. Sorry, Zappy. <laughs> Sorry, Zappy. All right, so what we'll Wait, do your is... roommate's name is Zappy? Yeah, you've met him. Yeah. What? But he didn't introduce himself as Zappy. That's his nickname. That's his nickname. Okay. It's not his, go- his <laughs> fucking parents' given name. It would have been better, though, if his parents birthed a child and were like, well, maybe It's a boy, Zappy. Zappy. <laughs> Zippy and Zappy. So the dogs are in the room as well, as you guys can tell, if you're watching, not listening. But if you're listening, there are no dogs in the room. <laughs> Where's Peach? I don't know. She's walking around. <laughs> She's just doing Peach things. She's just doing Peach things. So, all right, Marlon, uh, for those who don't know, Marlon is my younger brother. He's going to be 21 soon. Oh. Yeah. And uh, he's currently attending Chapman University, and you're studying psychology. Mm-hmm. What is that like? We have two psychology almost majors here. It's very interesting. I study sociology as well. Yeah. So it's kind of different viewpoints. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, anyone that tells you that studies psychology will tell you it's it's pretty fascinating how little we know about who we are. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's just very eye opening everything we learn. And when you come over, you get to talk to Jenna and have intelligent conversations, which I, I still can't do. So it's good <laughs> Shut that you can do up. That. Oh my God. <laughs> You're a troll. Um, and you are a junior. You have one more year left mm-hmm. and you're going to adopt Kermit. Mm-hmm. No, are, you, are you excited never. about adopting him? We're going to run I, away. I've, no. met, I've met very, very, very few people who uh, the dogs, all three collectively like more than Marlon. Marlon, Marlon is our dog sitter of choice. He's yeah. number one draft pick, but he's, he's always at, at school. school. <laughs> number one draft pick. What was number your signing bonus? Three dogs? Yes, three dogs. <laughs> all right, so I guess before we start pounding you with questions. Yeah, Marlon, you have questions yeah. for what us? What do you got for my us? Questions? Oh, my. I'm like so nervous. Oh, right? by the like, way. What are you going to do? <laughs> what? Uh, by the way, he knows the fan fiction. He saw it. You saw it? Yeah. I've seen it. He saw it because someone posted oh, it on Instagram. I was fucking dying. I was like sort of just skimming through that first chapter yeah. to see if he wanted to read it. Yeah. And I just see at the bottom, Marlon is a hacker. And I'm like, done. We're doing it. We're reading <laughs> Marlon this. Marlon fan fiction. Marlon is a fucking hacker. It was great. It was a great story. Yeah. They know me well. Yeah. Um. All right. Jenna. Oh, God. <laughs> You have almost 2 billion views on YouTube, several TV and movie appearances, yeah. countless hairstyles, mm. <laughs> True. and even a wax figure made after you. Yes. What's your favorite color? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, Marlon. The, the troll level is already at a 10. Like, if you guys can't tell, mm. he has the troll gene as well. So, you know, I think it might be, I'm, I like, I really like purple, and I really like green. Okay. I'm probably purple. Purple's pretty you? fun. 
What about me? So mm-hmm. you're saying that all that applies to me and then also what color for me? Blue. Blue. Given that she has a wax figure. If she didn't have a wax figure, it'd be red. <laughs> Alright, we have temperatures rising, <laughs> ice melting, and the population's <laughs> increasing. Humans release 37 billion metric tons of CO2 every year. And 58,000 square miles of forests are demolished every year. <laughs> I can't read that. Julian, <laughs> what's your favorite movie? <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a good question. It's well worded too. He's such a troll. <laughs> Big Daddy. Big Daddy's my favorite. Big Daddy. Big what about you, Jenna? Um, it's like a tie though yeah. between a lot of stuff. My best friend's wedding. It's Jenna's no, wedding. not well, sort of. Yeah, or airplane or the jerk. Yeah, the jerk is up there. Steve Martin. Mm. Same. So you've it's the twenty first century. Never seen the jerk. And we have a presidential candidate <laughs> who wants to eliminate an entire religion. <laughs> We as a society still stigmatize and stereotype and discriminate against the minority, whether it be race, religion, gender, identity, mental disorder, Mm -hmm. sexual orientation, whether it be consciously or unconsciously. This, in my eyes, is the biggest social problem, but I got to know, how do you guys stay so fit? (laughs) God. Uh, I don't. I love, I'm Are like, you whatever. Are you kidding me? I like try my best, but Julian is the one that's like jujitsuing all the time. And Julian works out a lot. That's mm. how he's. Yeah, but the only reason I've, I've, uh, I ever get to see myself look fit is because I have my diet dialed down, which is yeah. what Jenna helps me with. But a lot of vegetables. And um, yeah, yeah, a lot of vegetables. I'd say that's probably my number one tip. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Working out's cool, but if you can get your diet right, guys, you'll get fit. And if you and use BPI th- Sports Nutrition, you will get fit. <laughs> it's good for the environment, too, though, to it consume is. less meat. And oh, meat. yeah. It's really good. It's Vegetables, also, guys. It's also cheaper. It's a it lot is. cheaper. Vegetables it's cheaper than you think. It's cheaper than you think. Wait, well, how do you say so fit? You're like, yeah. uh, everyone calls you the ginger Channing Tatum. Okay. First of all, why don't you respond to that? Little allegation. He, that's so he good deadlift, doll. Marlon well, can deadlift, doll. Marlon can. De- Marlon was deadlifting mid four hundreds before he hurt yeah. his back. He hurt his back a little bit. Uh, well, why is that a good thing? Okay, so wasn't Shannon Tatum named like the sexiest man alive in twenty fourteen or something? Yeah. Oh, I, I was thinking about someone completely different. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't know they were Wait, ca- calling who you, did Channing, you think Tatum? Channing Tatum. Was I? I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, who was in your brain? Like, describe them. Well, he was. Like 400 pounds. <laughs> Are you serious? What? He's just fucking with me. All right. Last question. <laughs> Kids in school are being bullied. Big corporations pair a government to act as puppets. And global warming is clear. No one's doing anything about it. Mm. Nothing. Mm. What's your favorite drink at Starbucks? <laughs> I cannot. Oh, my God, Marlon. Okay. Um... I have been drinking a lot of lattes with mm-hmm. the coconut milk or soy milk and sugar-free vanilla syrup. It's really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, they have really good water. <laughs> God. What about you? I mean, given the thing you said about the economy, definitely cappuccinos. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the foam and the coffee. Mm. It's like it takes away the weight of the milk. It's like it's it's like the only consistent dairy I'm still consuming. Yeah. It's like the cappuccino milk. It's foam. Hey, no, no, not yeah, double. Yeah, let it come up. Yeah, Hi, Peachy. Um, it's okay that she loves me a little more. <laughs> <clears throat> that is true. Um, so, do you have any questions for Marlon? What should we What should we ha- ask him right now? Um, Marlon, I don't know if you know, every time you're in a vlog, the internet is pretty smitten with you. Okay, I have a question on behalf of the internet. Are you single? <laughs> Was that you? What? It was Marvel. <laughs> He's laying in front of the mic. He's like, don't tell them. Are you available maybe. at all? Ooh. No, no. There's no, no maybes on the gym. And gym I'm very podcast. single. Okay. Is the answer. He's, he's painfully single, guys. There look you at go, him. ladies. I'm brutally single. Ladies, he's brutally single. <laughs> maybe maybe you should buy some MeUndies and just walk around in MeUndies. Wait a minute. You have an undie run coming up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You guys You need to wear some MeUndies. Some MeUndies. We'll get you some MeUndies Sweet. for the undie run. Yeah, Chapman University, they do that undie, undie run, run where they just run around in their underwear. Yeah, like a bunch of fucking animals. I loved it. Actually, yeah. I didn't love it. I did it like twice out of my entire time yeah. there. You guys should come this year. Hell no. No, thanks. <laughs> but we'll give you meandies to, to run in. Sweet. <laughs> oh, my God. I just can't get over those trolley questions. 
What, what questions do you have for Marlon? Marlon's your brother. What questions did you think I was going to ask when I that that about that was about what I thought? You yeah, were ask, you know, yeah. something along those lines is what I was expecting for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so what? I mean, this is a question you probably get all the time, but I'm sure there's a lot of college age kids out there. What do you want to do when you're done with college, or what do you see yourself in a year and a half? doing with your life or at least trying to do with your life don't don't i don't know what is that it's a head zip it's kermit's, it's kermit's, kermit's head got zip. a little zip on his head well five years from now I no still no see i'm myself. serious like, i want i want i want to know like <laughs> seriously what you're thinking about leaving college because that's like i mean we talk about it a lot we've had a whole podcast dedicated to being in college and being in school and what you're what you're told but like having being in this situation right now mm-hmm. everyone's telling you you need to figure out your shit get mm-hmm. your shit together Sometimes you don't need your shit together, mm-hmm. but like, what are your thoughts? So like, where are you, you mm-hmm. know, where does your, where's your mind going to be wanting to do when you're, when you're out of school? Do you want to do more schooling? Do you want to? That's a good question. Uh, it's hard to answer right now because yeah, that's good. I'm still right in the middle of it, but yeah, I'm definitely waiting for a class to really just take my interest. And in. I've had a few classes that I really like psychology classes, but <clears throat> nothing yet that's just like for sure you know i tried getting in sports psych this semester but it was full yeah it's a hard class to get into which yeah. is why i never got to take one before i went to graduate school you got a master's <laughs> in it. now who's laughing well i mean you have to be exposed to it you have to read about it yeah. to understand if you mm-hmm. would like to pursue that you don't have to take a class before you know if you would like it or not but marlon was an athlete marlon played baseball mm-hmm. you, what, what else did you do for sports Pretty much just baseball. Yeah. Um, whoops. Disconnected myself. Oh, uh, yeah. You want me to fix it? Here, I got it. You can keep talking. But I can't hear. <laughs> All right, then stop talking. Okay. Yeah, Marlon played baseball, like, his whole... Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, his whole life, like me. We were, we were baseball family, I guess. Yeah. But mm-hmm. a little jujitsu. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, baseball, it really... I mean, just psychology in general... Because you go up to the plate and you're like thinking a million things in your head and athletes just drive themselves crazy and everyone does, you know. We have so many expectations for how we're supposed to act or what we think we're supposed to do, but usually what we're supposed to do is like contradicting each other, what everyone says you're supposed to do. So Mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting. Yeah, you know what's funny? Like having been an athlete when I watch things on TV or really kind of big events, Olympics, you know, World Series, stuff like that, and I'm like... Like I'm watching really kind of keenly looking at their like eyes and where their brains at. Like, it's crazy to think like how focused a person needs to be and zone out like so much, especially at that level. Like Jenna played sports at a high level. You know, you, you and I played sports high school. We, you know, we competed. Okay. But like, that times a billion, the whole world is watching, like literally the entire world is watching you and you know it Mm -hmm. and you still are able to like zone it out and kind of, not only just do your job, but like be amazing at it, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. That's pretty nuts. Yeah. It's very wild. We more than any other animal have a massive frontal lobe, which pretty much as you know, just does nothing. It just, it's like drives us crazy. It's all for thinking. Yeah. And all we do is just, that leads to like the overthinking. It's just massive. And monkeys yeah. have every other animal has a tiny, tiny frontal lobe, especially dogs. That's why they're always so happy. And that's why you're so primal. Yeah. You just want like three things in life. And he forgets and things. Your and... bear and water. <laughs> we forget though that we're just animals. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We always distinguish animals and humans, but we're the same. We're the same. We're animals. Speaking of animals, this shirt, guys, this is official podcast merch that you can now buy. We have we launched a whole other line of shirts with Sermet and Peche and Marpel. All the dogs on the shirts with the, these designs. Because you guys have been asking for these designs for a while. So we finally got them up on our store, jennajulianpodcast.com. And go to the merch tab to find it. I just wanted to throw that in there because it's nice. now a thing. Yeah. Um, I want to hear something. I want to hear, like, you guys tell a story or Ooh, that's something, good. That's a memory good. about each other from when you were That's kids. what we should definitely do. I was actually telling Jenna about... How we used to red box and chill. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. We used to, okay, so red box, I don't even know if you know what that is anymore. I don't know why you would, <laughs> but it, it's like this DVD vending machine. And there was one like a couple blocks from our house when we were growing up. And we would scooter on over there, 
get some fucking red box, get some snacks and just like watch movies all night. And it was like, it was, in my mind, that was like, that changed the game. You didn't have to go to a blockbuster. You know, you, you will ride down the street and when they ask for your email, you just write John at AOL.com and you don't ever get bothered. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you see you, that you still do that time. though too. You still write John at AOL.com on yeah, things. Yeah. I'm like, Julian, that's fucked up, man. It's, he's I got mean, so he's, many emails. He's got so many emails. <laughs> What's another one email? John at AOL.com. Is it John with an H though, or just no. an N? No, J O N J O N at AOL. Wow, Way power more move. to the point. Power move. <laughs> right to the point. Is that what you said? Yeah. Um, and there's a reason why it's AOL because it's only three. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. the shortest, easiest. If it was AOL.co, Active. it'd be easier. I thought you guys were just being like funny because who the fuck has an AOL email address? Uh, who does who emails? <laughs> well, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> um, can you think of any stories that we should tell? Uh, that we should tell? Or that we shouldn't tell and we can. Hmm. What about the time when you were warming up in baseball and you decide to just look oh, away and then you have your story. nose broken by the ball that you're supposed to be looking at? That was a fun story. That was a good one. <clears throat> How about, I don't know if I told this on the podcast, we were snowboarding and we would always compete to like get high on the jumps and Marlon like was... He was young because I think we were what, like thirteen, like and he was like ten. Yeah, so he he's like watching us get all these you know jumps. We're like getting like three feet off the ground. We're like yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> and and I've my never mom was taking before. pictures. He's never jumped before. He just learned how to snowboard basically, and he comes flying down the mountain and he goes flying off the jump like three times as high as any of us have ever gone, and then <laughs> like just completely feet <laughs> wipes out. But my mom oh got this picture. God. and It looks like he's Sean White, like literally like five feet higher than we got and he's just like chilling in the air and he's like it's like a perfect picture but we always told him we were like dude you fucking ate crap right after he's like doesn't matter got the pic yeah. oh my god i was like crying my eyes out and my mom's trying to show me the picture oh my god she's like look how high you got <laughs> she knew it was a competition too she was matters. like you beat them you beat them Aww. that's really sweet your mom's sweet. Yeah. You know who probably has a lot of stories about you guys is your sister. Every time she we're hanging out, your sister has all of the stories mm-hmm. and sitting there telling mm-hmm. them to everybody. Yeah. She's a good storyteller, too. She is. We I'm should have her think. on instead. I know. Well, we can have her on another time. Instead, <laughs> we have Marlon on. Yeah, we have now. Marlon. We're lucky. And we should have gathered some us. questions from Marlon. What we should do is tell stories about her. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick. Do you have any stories about her? Yeah, Julian and I used to fuck with her. What would you do? To, what? Why? Just because you're younger and you wanted to fuck with your sister? Yeah, it got a rise out of her. Mm. She would get pissed. How much older is Roxanne than you? Five years. Five years? Yeah. She used to come to my kindergarten classroom when she was in fifth grade and like work with the kids during lunch and stuff. Oh, yeah? yeah. Aww. All right. <laughs> What? I'm tweeting this live. We're doing this live on the podcast. I'm getting some questions. All right. Oh, I got a question for you guys. Yeah, what's up? When did you know that you guys were otters? Aw, that's really sweet. I actually remember. remember. Do you remember? Yeah. What do you mean? I remember how that came about. Oh, I thought, we I thought it was like a otters. symbolic question. Oh, mm-hmm. oh no, it was a time question. You have to answer symbolic and you have to answer the Okay, time. so I'll answer time. Chronologically, <laughs> you answer symbolic. All right, uh, I was at work one day, and a lot of times at my old job, I would kind of get on Reddit and zone the fuck out, which I, I think a lot of people kind of do at jobs. But anyway, uh, I was on Reddit one day, and one of the top posts was like a... a a gif of otters and it was it was like a or maybe it was a today i learned like today i learned otters hold hands so they don't float away from each other while they sleep and if they don't have another otter they grab sea kelp to stay uh you know put and i was like we had just started dating sort of and i was like that's adorable so i came home and i was the first thing i said i was like did you know that otters <laughs> hold hands <laughs> while they sleep so they don't float away she's like you're my otter and then that was it yeah. Then we just started calling each other true. ours. It's true. All right. Uh, I've never felt symbolic? more lonely in my life. You have seek help. Don't worry. And then maybe some uh, lovely young lady after this podcast <laughs> will seek you out. <laughs> uh, what's it? What is this? What do you think of symbolic, symbolic, symbolic meaning behind? When I thought we were otters, we were on the beach. Remember? Oh, otters. Ah! Over the guests. Oh. Ah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. 
right. So first question comes from <laughs> Sonia Hawks. I had it right now. <laughs> uh, how did you come up with the plot to Magic Mike? <laughs> it just was a dream. What, ca- what kind up. of dream? Like a, a dream you had at night or yeah. like just one time or over and over? No, just one time. Just one time. And then what happened? I wake up and I write my dreams down. Do you have a dream notebook? Mm-hmm. And we you do didn't for fucking real? bring it? Mm-hmm. I used to do that. I know you did. It makes I your dreams up, lucid. And I wrote the whole script one morning. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And then did you sell it to the studio? Mm-hmm. All right. Next question. Why you so daddy AF? Mm-hmm. Okay, good answer. Uh, <laughs> is the Grobe Zoo open? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a good one. Alexis writes, who is Marlon? Yeah. I, I think that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the most embarrassing story that you can tell about me. Seriously, think about this. About Julie. What is the most embarrassing story you can tell about me hmm. that I will not absolutely wreck you after this podcast for telling? What you got? Oh, I got a good one. All right, what is it? Um, fuck. God, yeah. fuck. God so, fucking damn it. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Okay. Right when we started uh, like grappling and fighting and stuff, training, my brother was a lot better than me, and he knew it so it was always him choking me out and strangling me and stuff nice really and uh we're brothers i'm kidding yeah (laughs) and uh this one time i finally uh strangled him with a triangle choke and he was so bummed that he just got up right after and just like elbowed the wall as hard as he could or punched it or something (laughs) and left this huge hole in the wall and it was just like I, i like left it there and like 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 oh put an arrow God, to it and I wrote totally triangle down. Totally forgot about that because it was just my my trophy. <laughs> you <laughs> kept the trophy. hole I put in the wall as yeah. a trophy. <laughs> I totally forgot about that until you just saw it. Now I remember. That's mm-hmm. crazy. I got up. I tapped. I got up and fucking put a hole in the wall. <laughs> wow. I was just glad it wasn't me. <laughs> you were like, maybe I should put have a hole in it. Marlin. <laughs> <laughs> It wouldn't be a trophy then at all. That's a pretty good story. Mm-hmm. Although I'm not super embarrassed by it. What do you have a, any embarrassing stories of Marlon? You don't want to get him back right now. Well, I, I should have thought this through before we got on here. I feel stupid. <laughs> we want to ask him some of these. I don't questions. get embarrassed. Yeah, yeah you do. Mm-hmm. Oh, shut up, Marlon. Will you marry me, Nicole? Yeah, asked. sure. Nicole asked that. Best redhead jokes you ever heard. Do people call you ginger or anything like that? No. No? Wait, so do you go to, like, meetings to deal with getting bullied as a ginger? Or, like... Yeah, I do. You know, people ask me why I'm always, like, so tan for a ginger. But the truth is, I'm not actually a ginger. What are you? Gingers, by definition, I believe, have blue eyes and red hair. And fair skin. And fair skin. And I have bluish-green eyes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so it's a pretty big difference oh my god you're a troll um <clears throat> do you watch parks and rec yeah i just yeah. started watching it that's really cute you guys can watch it together what's your least favorite thing about julian hmm. Hmm. hmm his stupid face that's 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 easy what's the real biggest thing you hate i have a feeling i know what it is oh yeah yeah what's that no, I want to let you say it. Wait, really? Yeah, I want to let you say it. I don't know. What is it, Shannon? What? I'm sorry. I was reading another question. <laughs> no, it's okay. Forget it. Were you just texting Roxanne to get a story? No. Okay, you can, do it. you can text her for a story if that's what you're going to text about. Why don't you do that? I'll read the sponsors. <laughs> you read the sponsors? Yeah. All right. Uh, guys, really quick, I just want to shout out to our sponsors this week. We have me on these guys. Uh, you have seen these before. Me and these are some of the most comfortable underwear. They are, can I see the phone real quick? Uh, they are made of micro modal fabric. Modal. She knew it was modal. Uh, twice as soft as cotton. Uh, nothing can really describe the feel of me on these. You kind of just have to try it. And then once you try it, you'll see why they're the world's most comfortable underwear. Uh, and if you don't love your first pair of me on these guys, it's free. All right. Uh, they have tons of styles and, like really awesome ones like this one. If Marlon would show you, why don't you display them? Do you want to wear them and show them how it looks on a body? Yeah, I can. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll we'll probably get, <laughs> we'll probably get him some underwear for uh for his undie run. But guys, shipping is free in the U.S. and Canada, and you can save up to eight dollars a pair with me and subscription plan. Uh, get the subscription or single pair, get twenty percent off your first order by going to meundies dot com slash Jenna Julian, guys. So go check that out. That's meundies dot com slash Julian. And our new sponsor of the week, BPI Sports, a supplement company with incredibly high quality products. Uh, one of my favorites has been both the Pump HD, which is a pre-workout, and uh, or the BCAAs right here. I love branch chain amino acids. For those of you who lift weights and uh, you constantly feel like your muscles are sore and protein just ain't doing it for you, BCAAs are great in having muscle recovery faster and quicker absorbed than protein. Uh, if you're new to BCAA, it's a very, very awesome thing, and BPI makes an incredible BCAA. One of the things I really like about BCA or BPI's specific uh, line of BCAA is how it dissolves in water. You can throw it in some water, shake it up, and you're good. It's very easy to use, very good, amazing flavors, uh, and it works well, most of all, guys. Uh, if you're into workout supplements, bpisports.com has your supplement needs. We'll also link them in the description. Uh, and they have all these like amazing flavors. Like what, what's this one? Hold on. This, ooh, watermelon cooler. Oh. Oh, Jenna's going to make a sound. Blue raspberry. Oh. Creepy jaw. Wicked fruit blast. Oh. So check out uh, BPI Sports, guys, and let us know what you think. Links in the description. All right, do you have a story yet or no? Yeah, Roxanne just hit me with one. Oh, shit. Roxy. All right, here we go. It's going to be malicious. It's going to be mm, fucked. not too bad. Uh-oh. So apparently Mock had a pre... I don't even know what to call it. All right. But Julian used to dress as a girl when he was a boy. <laughs> and I've heard he about would this. wear a bunch of dresses. And he used to sleepwalk. What about your sleepwalking stories? Oh, you got to tell a sleepwalking story. Did what you, you put all the he pillows like in the, the oven, like, like in Step Brothers? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I sleptwalked. It's like you worse. Oh, tell the car up. alarm. The car alarm. He like woke up one night, went in the bathroom, turned on the faucet, and then went out to the car and tried to get in. Like as a boy, like a kid. I was oh completely. I was, Who knows what he was going to do? I was completely asleep. Okay, I I was on the top bunk. I was in a bunk bed. We had bunk beds. I yeah. climbed down, completely asleep. I remember none of this. By the way, walked to the bathroom, turned on the sink, left the bathroom. That's all I did in the bathroom. Walked outside the front door of my house. I, how was I? Nine, ten. Probably, Probably been more yeah. than ten. Walked outside and tried to get into my mom's minivan. Opened the door. Didn't open. It was locked. Car oh alarm goes God. off. I go inside, fall asleep on the couch. Oh that God. whole thing when I was asleep. Did you wake up because of Carl? No, I didn't. I don't remember any. I never remembered it. Even at the time when you guys told me it happened, I never remembered it. What are you doing? Trying to get Carmen? Crazy. That would have been horrifying. Yeah, if you woke I would up. be terrified. If I was your mother, I would have a heart attack and die. Yeah. Um, what she's saying is how I used to dress up as girl. How she used to dress up us up as girls. She's tweeted pictures of that before. <laughs> it was like Mock's early Why, stages. You guys looked so beautiful. Yeah, she would put dresses yeah. on us. Mm. And I wouldn't fucking complain. <laughs> <laughs> I was just rocking that dress. <laughs> Why should really? you? Why should really? I? She's giving me free clothing. What else does she have? Anything good? In my sort of sex and gender class, we talked a lot about like gender fluidity and parents raising their kids as gender neutral. And like dressing them in whatever they want and yeah. not, not like socially constructing them to be a boy or a girl. And it's pretty interesting how, That's pretty awesome. how much of environment plays to gender, you know? Yeah. Because we're born pretty similar, mm-hmm. but then we just make boys and make girls yeah you know? that's like all in, yeah no yeah, for sure well, you're, you're gonna get so much gender pressure once you grow up as it is to yeah. not get it from your parents is a pretty liberating mm-hmm. thing yeah. as it is <laughs> so i'm good, sure good for parents that take all of that shit off of their kid but then there's the worry about the kid like being bullied in school and stuff because it's, yeah. it's still like not accepted to but me. at least you're not putting them in pageants and telling them that mm-hmm. they have to be a certain thing exactly. <laughs> anywhere in the middle there is probably some people are. a better place some little kids and parents fucking love that shit why'd you knock over marlon's water come on guy marlon used to have imaginary friends that's really cute 
Jason. What were their names? Michael. Oh, okay. So he had these imaginary okay. friends as a kid. Chase, Jason and Michael were two of the main ones. <laughs> They're uh, countless. No, but Jason and Michael were like two of his really like favorite friends. Why Jason and Michael? We still link up every every now and then. Like no, the weirdest part is he gets to college and his freshman year roommates are Jason and Michael. No way. Swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just look around and you're like, it's the I told you they were. I didn't real. even think about it until we're like literally the same age. <laughs> he's like, oh what? my god. Okay, so Marlon, <laughs> Marlon was like a troll before he knew it, but someone came up to him when he was a kid and was like, it was everyone. It was me, my mom. Roxanne, Marlon, and we're just walking, and someone was like, oh my goodness, how did you get your beautiful red hair? And what does Marlon say? He says, I dyed it. <laughs> and he's like a young-ass kid. <laughs> oh, you're such a shit. <laughs> someone said, who in your family has red hair? He says, um, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so good. Or that one time somebody asked me how I messed up my eye, and I said, oh, it was a black guy. Yeah, did I tell that story on here? And then they said, like, what? Yeah. And I said... So, yeah, so I don't know how you got... Did you fall? We were running around, you fell? I ran into a doorknob. Yeah, like, like a complete idiot. He runs into a doorknob. And we're like kids, right? So we're walking to my sister's dance class to pick her up and my mom. And uh, it was like an African-American security guard, right? Mm-hmm. So he comes up to my mom. He's like, what happened? Like, well, He's like, hey, oh, what happened to your eyes? You know, son, what's going on? And he meant to say it was a black eye. Like, it's Maybe a black, black eye. eye. Like, it's my eyes black. But he said, it's a black guy. It was a black guy. And my mom's like sitting there mortified. Like, I cannot what? No, no, it. tell him actually what happened. I go, oh, yeah, my, my mom did it. <laughs> <laughs> this, no, but we, it sounds like he's making it up. That's actually how it went. Like, Jeez. that was... You're the biggest troll. Okay, I want you to seriously answer these. Okay, no more trolling. Sorry. What is your favorite food? Let's get a little lightning round here. Mm-hmm. Sushi. Okay, sushi? Mm-hmm. What kind of sushi? Ahi tuna. Why'd you have to say ahi? Why could you have said tuna? Mm-hmm. No one thinks it's a different type of tuna. See, well, you're trolling like still. Tuna, you're trolling like, still. Like in the sandwiches, you know, like tuna salad. It's not tuna for sushi. That's disgusting. <laughs> okay. It's um, not even the same. They don't even taste similar. Who, uh, let me see. (laughs) If you and Julian were to fight each other in a brotherly death match, who would win? Hmm. Are there weapons allowed? (laughs) What do you think? Do you think there should be weapons allowed? No. No weapons. Unarmed. Unarmed. You're both completely unarmed. If I can rub Vaseline all over myself first, I think I would win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gotta get out of those fucking arm bars. And but shit. dry, I think I'd I think I get crushed. Mm. <laughs> dry. I would just put a gi on you. <laughs> Here, wear this. No, no, no geese. Um, would you rather <laughs> constantly smell dog poop or eat dog poop once? Hmm. Eat dog poop once. That's my fucking answer. Yeah, why? Get out of the way. I don't want to smell dog poop. No, but you'll eventually life. you'll eventually be immune to it. Isn't it like really bad for you? What dog poop? Yeah, it's like. I mean, I don't think it's good disease. to eat any feces, but yeah. like. There's a reason why we don't like the taste. It's because it's like poisonous <laughs> for us. I'd rather eat it one time and get it over it than smell poop for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'll, I'll smell poop the rest of my life. You nasty. Yeah, I would eat it too. I would crush that shit up and put it in a protein shake and fucking Mm -hmm. crush it and get game. (laughs) What's your favorite song? Hmm. Well, it changes every week. Well, right now, what is it? Right now? Let's see. You have an interesting taste in music. Yeah, Marlon likes festivals. You go to Coachella, like, you like that stuff. I like Hello by Adele. Okay. I'm know. serious. <laughs> no, he can't turn I'm, it off. No, please. I'm serious. <laughs> That's all I've been listening to. In case those of you uh, watching the two of them not wondering where they get it from, your your dad is a stand up comedian. Yeah, no, he he, was. he absolutely mm-hmm. passed it on to us. He, that's they, something we can't control. The troll in them is so deeply ingrained. That he used to steal my jokes. No way they can. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't steal them. He used them because he, he had a job as a stand-up comedian. He did his bit. Yeah. <laughs> he used to were steal you, my were jokes. Were you the child that I'm still said, thinking I want about copy infringement. <laughs> really? yeah. Copy infringement. Copyright, copyright, whatever it's the called. The child that just looked up and said, hey, dad, what what are what are thoughts? Like, what is that? Yeah. So, no. He, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. Is that you? I was right from the very beginning. My dad had so many jokes about Marlon when he did stand up. Like, 
like almost all of his jokes. Really? Well, all of his kids' jokes. Like when he says my kids, it was yeah. always about Marlon. Always. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what are these things happening in my head? I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so it's kind of dark. <laughs> what? I mean, if you took that in one way, you're like, yeah, I don't want to fucking think thoughts anymore. Or you could take it in a way that I was just super advanced. In as the a Marlin kid. way. Yeah. yeah. And I just would appreciate life for what it is and not thinking about everything <laughs> I would else. Appreciate some fucking quiet in here once in a while. Because what was the last time you ever saw something or experienced something without tying your thoughts to it. It's very difficult. It's difficult. You yeah. can't just see something and accept it for what it is yeah. and just have it be there. Yeah. You always have to tie some sort of emotion, memory, whatever it is. Yeah. Stigma. You're always going to choose something. Very true. <laughs> like, what, what was going through your little tiny like prison brain at that time where you were like, I don't want to have thoughts anymore. <laughs> like I'm so disturbed by what's going on in my brain. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. Are you still here? Yeah. It's like half. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, did you guys ever use a fight? Like really fight? Have you guys ever gotten in a fight? I'm trying to think. Uh, you? yeah. Like a real fight. I tried beating him up once. You did. <laughs> When was that? Once. It was after we went to Catalina for like a week for our parents' wedding. And it was like the whole family. So we all had to be on really good behavior. And we had fun. We did a bunch of shit and uh, just like great family time. And I just had to be on my best behavior the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't like fight back to Julian whenever he would bug me. So it just built up the whole trip. And right after we got off the boat... We, like, get back in the car on the mainland, and he, like, throws a volleyball at my face, or a, a soccer ball. Fucked up, man. And just hits me right in the face. Wait, wait, can we give some and background here? I didn't just take a ball. I'm, I'm sure I pissed okay. you off. I Oh, I have another one after this, too. So. Um, <laughs> uh, hits me right in the face, and uh, I just go crazy, because, you know, I, like, broke my nose, like, a few years before that, and it was just very sensitive, and yeah. he... It was just everything at once, and I just tried to kill him, like, right right then and there, inside the car. And uh, my sister's boyfriend at the time broke us up and, like, just, like, held us apart like this. Victor. But, yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was the end of that. But you are lucky. I could have finished you. You know what's crazy is, like, I feel like every brother or, you know, pair of brothers on Earth has that one story. Mm -hmm. Where it's, like, the younger brother just fucking had had it. And went to kill him. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, just, they were, they were, it's just, it's one of those things. Like, I, I wasn't like a dick older brother, but older brother dynamic is like, you're, you know, you're on top all the time. Mm -hmm. And you must have just been like, that's it. I had one of those with my brother because we used to just like, because he's so much bigger than me, he yeah. would like smash me and like do fucking, we would sit on the couch with your feet against each other, you know, and he's like the tallest person in the world. So he would just smash me all the way <laughs> up against the side of the couch. But like one time I just so completely had it with him. I picked up his lacrosse stick and baseball swung it into his dick. <laughs> into his dick? Yeah, just square it. You're savage. Dick. Yeah, I'd had it. That's fucked. Yeah, my mom was really mad at me. Oh my God. And my brother was really, really, really mad at me. But. You know, sometimes you just had it and then you snap. That was it. That was my day. Just picked up I had that stick. with my stepbrother. Bang. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've heard that story. You have heard that story. You just punched him, right? Yeah. Oh, we, were, we were at another family thing. It always coming. happens at family things. That's what happens. Your older sibling just has a coming. They know the day <laughs> is coming and they're still shocked. Except I actually comes. landed a punch. Like, don't so fucking hit difference. me anymore, man. Someday I'm going to be able to hit you back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah your day's still coming. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to get all your Vaseline ready for that day? Mm-hmm. Yeah? It's going to be in your eyes. It's going to be everywhere. Um, oh so you, you got what? So. You got to tell the story now oh, about okay. when you have had it with me in New York. Oh, fuck. I've seen video of that New York trip. And you're, Marlon's Oh, like remember we took the laptop? Day. Okay, so yeah, that, it was on my old laptop. It might still be there, but we, this is a separate story. But we were in New York, and we, there, it, like, as there is a lot in New York, there's those outdoor stairwells, you know, on the side of buildings. And we They're were at the fire escapes. Fire escapes. Sorry, I'm not from there. Outdoor stairwells. <laughs> They are an outdoor stairwell. <laughs> it's not funny. Nobody uses them. They're it fire an stairwell. We use people, them. People we use them, use them for like plants and. So 
we climb out of the window to just walk up at them. night with our laptop because back then that's how we shot things. We didn't have cameras, so we were like, yeah. <laughs> so we had my laptop. We we're like, yo. This is crazy. I think I saw the video. I should find it. I've seen it. I know you've seen it, but I think I still have it. Yeah. Um, but we're like, yo, this is crazy. We climb up the fucking fire escape so we could see the, uh, like a weird angle of the Empire State Building. We're like, it's right there. We're like freaking out, probably being way too loud. Uh, but what he was talking about is in New York, we went to our step family's grandma's house to stay for the night. And it was six kids, right? It was one all, bedroom. It was all of us, six kids, one bedroom, one grandma. And nice. no, and no parents because they Sounds went out. Didn't they, didn't they leave fun. for the night? Yeah. yeah, they left for the night. My mom and my <laughs> stepdad they went out for the night and left us all there for hell to break loose, and it did. Uh, we had like just every tourist. We had these like little fucking mini ass um, Empire State. No, not Empire State. Statue, Statue of, Liberty. of Liberty. But it's small. It's like maybe a little taller than this coffee cup, but the base of it. It's like fucking marble. It's like it's like rock. It's hard. like a perfect handle. It's a perfect handle because you hold it by the top, and then the end is like a. It's like a sledgehammer, but it was tiny. Okay, Sounds I'm not, like a murder weapon. Could have essentially. Could have. <laughs> um, so I don't really remember what exactly led to this, but do you remember what led to it? I do. Okay, what led to it? Um, I ended up hitting him with it. In case you're wondering, <laughs> well, you were like, we were watching TV. Yeah, you were pissed at me already, and you had like some snack. And you wouldn't give me some. It's my snack. And you had it like it's in your my mouth. Snack. Like you was like sticking out your like pretzels or something. I forget. And I grabbed it and like ate it. <laughs> Are you kidding? And you expect not to get the Statue of Liberty in your face? Without even like like ste- like missing a step, he grabs the statue and just cracks me with it right in the forehead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And my forehead like swelled up like a golf ball. It was just <laughs> massive. It was like hematoma. Mark Hominick versus Jose, Jose Aldo. It was it's just brutal. like a hematoma. And my sister's like probably fourteen years old, like trying to figure out what to do. Not even. Oh, How yeah, because she's there with all of yeah, you. Yeah, she was babysitting everyone. Oh my god! And all the other kids are just laughing at us, laughing at me. He's trying to apologize. And my sister's just freaking out. And my stepbrother is just like dying laughing because he wasn't the one who did it. He's like so relieved that he's just like chilling it off the hook. It's oh ridiculous. my god! Are you is Marla, uh, Marble wearing meandies right now? Yeah, that is amazing. You can see it, guys. Put it on his little bot. Marble, you wearing meandies? Marble, you wearing meandies? <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, if we don't, I mean, you think of any of the stories we have to tell? We fucking see what questions there are. Yeah, let's see some questions. Uh, Jenny, you want to look on the podcast Twitter? Do you have your phone? Think, 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 think. If you were given the chance to redo one thing in your life, what would that thing be? To redo it? Yeah. Mm. What was that? Peachy coffin? I don't know. Give me peachy. <clears throat> it's hard Is that to a bad say. question. Yeah. What do you guys think? You guys have any regrets? If I were to redo one thing? Mm -hmm. Not really. I I would just say no, you know? Really? Yeah. How do you sleep at night? Kermit. No. What do you mean? She she doesn't have her on your back. (laughs) So we were done with that, Mars. On my side. I like sleeping on my side. Feels I'm never going to be done with that. Why? How do you sleep at night? I can't sleep on my back. I have to sleep on my stomach. Yeah. Yeah. I get like... My back hurts. It wakes up sore. Yeah. I don't like it. This is a good question. I want you to ask answer this seriously. Do you like having your brother on YouTube? Yeah. Well, I like, do. why or why not? Well, you love it. You found a home, you know? It's it's a great community. Didn't I didn't some, really know about didn't it some girl at a concert, like, come up to you? Because no, she saw was, you in the vlog? No, it was at... Uh, it was at, a, like, a philanthropy event for my buddy. He was DJing. Yeah, I'll take her. And, uh... Yeah, somebody just recognized me because I was your brother. Because you were in the vlog? But today somebody recognized Julian at Starbucks that met him at the uh, oh, the Woodland Hills disease. thing. Yeah, he was at, yeah. I was like, hey. What's his name again? Brian. Shout out to Shout Brian. Shout out to Brian from Starbucks. Met me in Woodland Hills. He whipped up that coffee pretty good. He did. Actually, he didn't touch it. He was working the register, but I bet he would have. Kermit. Um, Kermit, come here. All right, Marlon. What's your What's your favorite dog? Shh, it's a secret. <laughs> I think they're asking of these three, but it could be puppy or honey. Mm. Which are well, no, I say he of. leaves it to this three because he's obviously okay. going to choose honey. Hmm. 
I know which one is the well, biggest. You don't have to answer it. I have such spiritual connections with all of them. You have different, you have you different relationships with each one of yeah. them. Yeah. But I'd have to say... Hmm. Okay, Marble. Like, <laughs> right dying. into the mic. I'd have to say Marbles. Really? Yeah. <laughs> marble, you love yeah. Marlins? Yeah, Marble he has took a the longest spot. to to win his heart, but his heart is just so sweet. He's yeah. a really special guy. Yeah. yeah, he is. Once he trusts you and you're in his little trust bubble, he's like the most fun, sweet, amazing little mm. dog ever. Yeah. Yeah. Marlon, I want to ask you before you go, for all you college people out there, do you have any tips or life hacks for college students? Being a college student. Yeah. What do you what have you figured out? Because I have one. I'd like to share one. Okay. But what are your like things that you've learned and you wish you knew? Uh, I wish I knew at the beginning of college. Yeah. Uh, just like not to be scared of anyone or anything. I was always worried about like what society said about me, and just like as I got to college, and, yeah, yeah, people are just like, much more accepting, and yeah. people really want to like accept you for who you are, and it's not like bad to be who you are. That's good. You know, yeah. People are always trying to like when they go out or whatever, put on a face that they think they should be. You know, instead of for whatever what situation, they want to be. yeah. Instead of who they really are, and it's good advice. Do you have any specific like day to day things, like how to take naps or something? Uh, that's because I have come a, naturally. I, mean, I have a good tip like that. Let's hear it. Find a secret bathroom that nobody knows about on campus because it will make the biggest difference. Like I found this bathroom. I'm not even telling. Do you know where it is? I'll tell you later. I'm not going to put it on the podcast. We had one of those. Yeah, it's a secret bathroom on campus. You either know about it because of being in sports or somewhere, something that you had access that not a lot of not everyone else had access to, and you secretly use that bathroom for your entire time. And it's just it's like solace. Like no one can take that away from you. You don't have to go to the crowded ass bathrooms on campus anymore. You find that secret one. Do you? What is, you had one too. Yeah, we had a secret bathroom that a couple of us knew about. That was mm. so nice. That is my advice, yeah. yes. It is pretty life-saving. So sometimes. you just use the bathroom that nobody else uses? I still use it. Like the one next to the gym? No. Different one. I have two tips. My tips are one for when you're in college and one for when you're out of college. First tip is steal a shopping cart. It's fucking, it will change your life. It's amazing. In college? Yes, in college. How do you, how would you use a shopping cart? Especially if you live in a big city. If you live in a big city and you steal a shopping cart, now all of a sudden you have like a way to do your laundry and it's hysterical. (laughs) You can build stuff out of it. It's awesome. You can push your friends in it. It's really great. I promise you, like more fun times than you can even imagine will come from you stealing a shopping cart. Wow. But you don't have to steal it forever. You can steal it for like a weekend and then bring it back. You don't have to take it. And the second one, yeah, borrow it. And the second one is for when you're out of college is to, if you still live in the same area as your school and you need the facilities for whatever reason, just keep going like i used for example i used to need a printer i didn't have a printer so i would just go into the computer lab like in graduate school because it was closer and just print shit out or go to the gym there's plenty of grown fucking people that go to our gym yeah it's the size of just because they never stopped going well yeah smart because no one asked them not to or the library or things like that if you look like you could still be a college student or even if you don't (laughs) and you think you can get away with getting in there just go in there and still use it for like another year you know what what? That reminds me, I'll, I'll end with this story right here. Yeah. Marla and I were in Vegas with my mom, and we were at this big convention hall where there was like five different conventions going on, and we were there for my sister's dance convention or whatever. But we had a bunch of free time, so we were walking around like exploring what expos were happening, and we found this. It was like a UFC expo or something. It was, it was like a fitness, something mm-hmm. cool that we liked. And we were using the freight elevator because we were hauling the dance equipment, but you, we had access to the floor that we were supposed to be on. So we walked onto this expo and we went over to the side. We were like, okay, it's like maybe $400 a ticket to get in here and we're just in here right now. How do we stay? So we find this table and we get chairs and we sit up and we sit at this table like it's a booth and we just look angry. We're like, dude, look angry, like look pissed. And no one's going to ask a question. If you look, you're like, you're pissed off. People are not going to ask if you know that you should be there. It's so we were like, we were like just everyone this, else there. We were just sitting at this table, just like frustrated. Someone would walk by with like a tag on and we'd be like, 
<laughs> like no one came up to us <laughs> yeah. and we were just staying there for the longest time and then we just yeah, decided yeah, to so leave everybody just kept walking by like security yeah. guards so get everyone and that, like that's what reminded me is like if you act like you're supposed to be there you, you know oh yeah. yeah you can go so i think i remember we were like pretending to chew gum to make it look like we were like <laughs> we didn't have pissed gum. off oh my to god show more wow. attitude <laughs> you know what? We were pretty. We were pretty innovative kids. You guys are crafty. Perception is reality. It's true. You're very crafty. That is true. That is true. Uh, and I perceive that MeUndies is the most comfortable underwear in the world. So if you guys want to buy some, go to MeUndies.com right, slash Marble? Jenna Julian. Oh, Marble wears right. it. I wear it. Marlon wears it. Marble. Uh, get twenty percent off your first order with that uh, URL. And then go to BPISports.com. Check out their line of awesome supplements and let us know how you like it. Thank you guys for hanging out another week on the podcast. And thank you to Marlon for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Marlon. This thank is really guys. nice. Thanks for hanging out. It was a lot of fun. Ladies. Ladies. Where can the ladies find you? <laughs> Where can the ladies find you? What is uh, your Twitter account you and stuff? We'll, we'll link it below. We'll link all Marlon's stuff below. But Super Gin. Super Gin on Instagram. Is that what it is now? Super yeah. G-I-N-G. Is you change it sometimes. You it's do change it. Things. You change it a bit. Mm-hmm. No, you do. You're such a liar. And his Twitter is msolo123. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Marlon. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank thanks you, so much. For hanging out on our podcast. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week on the Jen and Julian podcast. Bye. Ding, <laughs> Bye. ding. Ding, ding. Bye, guys. Good underwear, Marvel. Wow. It's going to fall off oh your butt. God. God. <laughs> it's going. It's going. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and you take it. All right, bye. Later.